need to talk about celebrating America's birthday and how you can do it and keep hopefully your pets happy at the same time. The rocket's red glare, the bomb's bursting in air. That's fun, but sometimes it can be a little too much for our four-legged friends on the 4th of July. And here are some tips. We've got Jim Devinney, owner of Four Paws Canine Training in Erlanger. And Jim's got his friend Memphis down here. Memphis is here, yeah. Memphis is a good-looking dog, Jim. I'll tell you that <laughs> one. And Memphis, Memphis knows, knows Memphis's name, too, because every time I say it, you look right up at me. Yeah, she's, a, she was uh, she's eight years old a couple of days ago. So. Oh, well, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's get into sure. um, the difficulty that dogs can have as we head into this particular weekend. And we, we said during the commercial break, there's really been stuff that's been sort of exploding in the air the last few days because people will tend to start early. Obviously the sound, but is it, it is, is it more than the sound? Is it, is it the, the lights flashing? Is it the, the smell or is it mostly come down to it's, the booms? You know, if you look at, if you look at uh, thunderstorms, dogs are reacting to both the lightning and the hmm. noise itself. So they can feel that static electricity before we ever hear the, the uh, thunder. That's interesting. I didn't yeah, know that. So, so that's, a, that's an issue for most dogs who are, you know, somewhat affected by thunderstorms or lightning. Sure. On the other hand, with uh, fireworks, it's it's the lights and the blast. Sort of the combination so, yeah, of the two. For a lot of uh, new dog owners, maybe they haven't been through a 4th of July holiday mm -hmm. with their dogs, but if their dogs um, don't deal well with thunderstorms, is that a good is that a good indicator? It can be, but uh, you know, it's kind of instinctive from a dog that uh, is from a pup. You know, a lot of dogs, just like humans, you know, kids can grow up with all kinds of anxieties and different sure. issues. Dogs can do the same thing depending on, you know, how, the, what, where they were in the litter and how things progress from there. So there's a lot of different uh, thoughts in pr of that process and behind that where uh, a lot of p scientists and ethologists both think that uh, a lot of that's, you know, instinctive. It comes from the, from the mom or yeah. the, yeah. What would you suggest? I mean, there, there are all manner of different things that people suggest, whether it's sort of keeping the TV up a little louder or getting one of those thunder jackets. What, what do you recommend? So the thing that I would tell everyone to do is, first of all, feed your dog early, you know, huh. um, yeah. and uh, try to get them out. Early. You know, we were just talking about, you know, people start shooting them off at 10 o'clock in the morning or, you yeah. know, if they can get, if they can get by with it, it may be at 8 o'clock <laughs> It'll just keep on going. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And, and they've already been going around my home and, Same. you know, I've heard Same them. Here. So, you know, whether it's, um, you know, the day before, the day after, you're going to hear fireworks for a while. So the, big, the best thing for you to do is feed your dog early, get them out early, let them do their business outside and let them go ahead and, and uh, get a little bit of exercise in if you want to walk them around before, the, before it gets dark and before the real fireworks start. Sure, sure. Do you ever try the thunder jackets? Yeah, so thunder jackets are great. A good point. So thunder jackets, even a t-shirt that you can tie tightly around your dog. Really? That, yeah, because if you've got huh. the scent of you, you on the t-shirt, they're yeah. going to like that as well. So, okay. Yeah, that would be a, a, a very good thing to do. Uh, there's a lot of different, I use something called uh, Progility. And it's a calming aid, and it's just melatonin. I think those oh, types okay. of things are really good too. I get those at uh, Hollywood, Hollywood the Feed, now. actually. So, and uh, there, so you can get them at any pet store. But but they're excellent for dogs who have a mild case of this. Now, if you've got a dog that is really over the top with this type of stuff, then you're you're going to uh, probably have to go to your vet. You know, there's gabapentin. There's a couple other things that they might prescribe. I'm not I'm not a big proponent of getting dogs onto prescription medicines. Some dogs have such bad anxieties. I had a dog a, a few weeks back and uh, it, we had some severe thunderstorms and it would go into the, mm -hmm. the toilet. We put a thunder jacket on it. My wife would sit in there with it and stroke its head. And by the way, one of the things that you can do that, that is really helpful is massage your dog. Okay. Now, everybody wants to go out to, to uh, you know, watch the, thunder, watch the fireworks, but when, if someone could stay there with the dog, it's gonna be meaningful. Yeah, and just you kinda know, love, love patience, on them a little bit. affection, and all those things are gonna mean a whole lot. But the, you know, Memphis. So if you rub them right here between their eyes, yeah. this is good. You know, scratch their ears behind their back and just give them massages just in general. Make them feel safe. Yeah, I yeah. mean, they, they feel good about that. Yeah. Jinder, tell me I got to wrap up before I let you go real quick. If people want to find out more about Four Paws and what you do, best way to find out and what, what is it you do real quick? So we do a number of uh, types of trainings. We do service dog training. We do, we have 15 scheduled classes a week. Okay. Uh, levels training method, which is a little bit different than most. You can find us at expertcaninetraining.com.
and also 859-802-6076 will get you there as well. Excellent. Jim, thanks for coming in. Yeah, we thanks appreciate, for having appreciate, appreciate it. Uh, thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.